Being a vinyl record collector can get pretty dusty, but luckily today we're going to take a look and a sip of the refreshing, thirst quenching, icy cold Crystal Bepis, a 2018 vapor trap release by artist Corrupted Data Court. With a lack of competition and releases in the vapor trap subgenre in 2018 compared to previous years, it definitely stood out that year as one of the best releases we got. But how does it all hold up onto vinyl? Let's break down the differences between the digital version we originally got and the vinyl version, the album's history with words from the artist himself, and my overall feelings for this aquatic adventure in a fizzy world of hi-hats and chops. And as always, hit that subscribe button and like this video, it helps out the channel immensely. Let's dive right in. So I want to talk more about the original digital version, as that is really the true release we got, and then we'll swim into the vinyl version a little later on into the video, as there are really some seriously significant changes made to the tracklist. At a solid length of 12 tracks, Crystal Bepis serves up some chilled vapor trap beats with an attention to a liquidy aesthetic. While Vapor's vapor trap classic Mana Pool is definitely known for its underwater aquatic vision brought to life by oceanic filters. Crystal Bepis follows a similar path, except at a mostly faster tempo, heavy focus on the highs, and a taste for an upbeat output, really giving this thing a carbonated, swimming in a pool of soda experience. I originally wanted a sort of soft drink aesthetic, something kind of soft and bubbly for the album. I was inspired by some of the greats of the genre, but wanted to put my own flair on Vapor Trap, since it didn't seem like anything new is coming out of that subgenre. Compared to Vapor Trap albums of the past, Crystal Bepis is definitely a simple, chill listen that doesn't have too much variation in between measures. Some folks may get tired of the repeated measures in tracks on the album, where I feel Corrupted Data Corp could have had some more fun poking out different chops, sounds, and whatnot to break it all up. Tracks like Poured Fresh and Tropical Flavor seem to carry out the same measure over and over. But then again, the album is definitely supposed to be more chilled and upbeat than anything else, so it's not really right to crave any crazy time changes or actions like that with this release. I guess I'm kind of tainted by like Mega and Fujita scale, where every measure seems to be a unique trip compared to the previous. Measures abruptly ending at odd times, flipping a beat in reverse for a quarter of the measure and then switching it right back, things like that I would have really loved to see on here on Crystal Pepis because structurally I love the synths Corrupted Data Corp use. I love the drumming on here, everything is super cold and has a definite concrete personality. Subaquatic Error and No Disc Inserted I would say are my two favorite tracks on here. I love the tropical yet eerie undertone vibe on Subaquatic Error, while No Disc Inserted has some fun with variation on the drums and a wishy-washy experience on the sound effects of a PlayStation when it's vacant of a disc to play. Now now let's get onto the vinyl. Corrupted Data Corp dropped Crystal Bepis on q -Rates with a crowdfunding goal of 200, which ended up crushing that and hitting an awesome 233. Congrats on that dude and definitely deserving, as the vinyl records presentation definitely translates the vibe and visions the tracklist of the album strive to achieve. This is one of those albums that has an album cover you can't not see in your mind when listening to the tracklist, that tasty turquoise blue bringing you to a world where oceans are straight up nothing but Mountain Dew Baja Blast. For the name and cover, I was really going for something that would be memorable and stick out on a shelf. Bepis was one of my favorite memes at the time, and I figured, huh, this would be perfect aesthetic for a Vaporwave album. It's very similar to that satirical style that's really prevalent, and sure enough, nobody had done it, so Bepis stuck with me. The design of the cover was actually the first thing I made, the music came after. I also absolutely love the back of the album art for the vinyl. Corrupted Data Corp provides us with this nutrition style tracklist with some fine print notes in there as well. Pretty clever and charming. In regards to the physical vinyl itself, I do wish it was a bit similar to what we saw on the Q-Rates page as the splatter effect was definitely more prevalent in the mock-ups. The vinyl I have here is pretty much all white with a very subtle amount of blue in it, but maybe that's just this vinyl I got specifically and it varies for each record press, not really too sure about that. The inner sticker fits that Pepsi style logo perfectly and also contains the track list for size A and side B. So onto the major changes this vinyl has compared to the digital I was referring to earlier in the video. An alternate mix of the original album, many tracks 
from the original Bandcamp release were changed or completely swapped out entirely for this physical release. This is mostly due to sampling issues and copyright reasons. New tracks and alterations were added, yet they retain the style and spirit of the original album. Track 4, titled Water Temple, has an alternate sample-free mix, which I personally find to be the best track on this album between both track lists. I absolutely love the track that ended up coming out on the physical release I have here. Tracks 8, 9, and 10 from the original album have been replaced with three brand new, never before heard songs, giving us some more newness to what we heard on the original upload. Corrupted Data Corp also made some lesser significant changes like moving the track Ice Cold slightly closer to the middle of the album and slightly extending the opening track intro. In regards to the mastering for the vinyl, the album translated over great to vinyl and further solidified the production Q-Rates provides for its artists. I don't own a lot of Q-Rates stuff, but one album I do always love to throw on that I got via Q-Rates was US Golf 95's debut on vinyl, which sounds absolutely incredible. Corrupted Data Corp worked with the tracks he had and definitely tidied them up to sound phenomenal on record. Drums are punchy and glistening, the synths and lower bellowing sounds of the songs are warm and hearty. Great job with the record, and I know I'm going to be playing this one for a bit. Also, I also have to say a huge shout out to Corrupted Data Corp for sending me this thing, as well as the little handwritten note he left me. You're the man, and I love that little Crystal Pepis drawing you left for me too. More than happy to display this in the collection. Did you pick this bad boy up, or are you waiting for any other vinyl in your collection to come in the mail? Let me know in the comments below. Also, what are some of your favorite Vapor Trap albums, especially ones that you think go under the radar that more people deserve to hear? Thanks again everyone, much love, your boy, Pad Chennington.